Good morning, folks. Bob Sellers here, your resident singing fisherman here on Hook, Line, and Singer. We appreciate you tuning in today. We got the main man, Will Thrill, with me. It is two days after Christmas, y'all. It is December the 27th, and I woke up this morning at 5:20, and it was 63 degrees. High today is 75, 77, something like that. Just some unusually warm weather even for our part of the world. <laughs> Will's on the lookout. Did you get those for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you did. Anyway, uh, we're out here at, on the Tom Bigby Waterway. Uh, today, we're gonna see if we can catch us a crappie. We're gonna see if we can catch us a bass. I did hear that. What was it? Like a turkey? Gobble? Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Uh, I know we had a had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Had everybody in and uh, everybody was healthy for the most part. And Preston, my nephew, had a like a stomach bug, but he he toughed it out and uh, anyway I hope yours was wonderful and we're glad to be out here on the water today I, I really wanted to get get my old boat out and make sure she's still run I haven't been y'all know I'm just been getting over sickness myself and uh, it's been really about a month and a half since I got out of the house much except except to uh, sing travel so we're glad to be out here today thankful for this opportunity and uh, crazy as the weather is, it's kind of nice to be out here uh, running a boat 30 miles an hour on December the 27th. And I really, I really didn't even need this this little windbreaker, but um, we're going to have a good time today. Hopefully, we can catch a fish or two. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see what happens. one I'm fishing this little I believe that's a 132nd ounce jig head with a little Bobby Garland tiny little tiny little jig body and I'm having some bites out here so far one of them felt like a good fish but I have not been able Get one in the boat yet. Surface temp is 58 degrees right now. It's a lot cooler than the air. Find us any fish. switch up to this cream tricolor swirl tail this is a black and blue and chartreuse I've caught a bunch of crappie on that color and you know I don't know if fish like certain colors or I know there's different you know ideas for different water colors and even times of the year that sort of thing but uh, a lot of it to me 
is what has worked for you in the past because I've just never been able to catch a fish on a bait that I didn't have any confidence in. Let's see if they won't like that better. I gotta have some coffee. Well, we abandoned crappie fishing long ago and uh, we're about to abandon bass fishing. We've thrown winter baits, spring baits, summer baits, fall baits, every kind of bait in the world to these fish. I've had what may have been a couple strikes, but even then they just, they won't hang on. Just a tough day on the water. It's a tough time of year. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but it's true because spring into early summer is the best time and really honestly the rest of the year is, is just hard fishing weather on, on rivers lakes stuff like that now i could go i could go to a private pond and show y'all fish every time we go and that's a lot of fun no doubt about it but I like the challenge of getting out here on on public water and you know, trying to catch a fish. And it's a lot more realistic. So the reality of this part of the video is the fish just would not bite. We're about to call it a day. What do you think back there, Willie? Pretty good job of bird watching today. Will's been bird watching with his new binoculars he got for Christmas. We could have a video of everybody's Christmas haul. We had a good Christmas. We had a really, really blessed Christmas. You know what? Everybody but your mom got a new car. That isn't uh, that isn't really as accurate as it sounds. I broke down and got me a new car for traveling in, a new to me car, a new used car. 2019 little Honda Insight that I really like. My credit union on Black Friday ran a 1.9% ran a financing special. So even, even though used car prices are absolute bonkers, you know, somebody's gonna get it out of you one way or the other. This same car was five six thousand dollars cheaper about a year ago now the cars are higher but at least it got a good rate on it so i went ahead and and bit the bullet on that and in doing so that got ellie a car that she doesn't have to swap out and get her stuff in and out of because she kind of she shared uh, a car with me she she had my singing traveling car mostly during the week and uh, then I would take off in it on the weekends and she's uh, gonna be starting college before long and definitely needs a car of her own that she can know is available whenever without checking with me that sort of thing and then um, <clears throat> right after I got done with that Will here, who is turn 16. My forerunner is, um, it's out of commission right now. That's my, that's my fishing, hunting vehicle. Vehicle I pull my boat with. Only one I've got, only one I had that would pull a boat. There's something wrong with it. It's missing really bad. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know what it is, but it's out of commission. And we all ran across this truck for sale. It was a 04 GMC Sierra extended cab. Two wheel drive, but uh, pretty low miles for that year. 109,000 owned by one man, this lady's grandfather that I bought it from. Kind of as bad as I hated to do it because my little, my little white Toyota pickup was kind of sentimental to me. 
my dad bought that truck brand new in 1994 and I wound up I wound up driving it back and forth to the uh, University of Alabama and it wound up becoming mine and uh, so I've had that truck uh, for a long long time and but I just I just tested the waters and it was crazy because I was leaving town on a Friday morning and I posted that truck on Facebook Marketplace and I said, make me an offer. Here it is, 1994 Toyota basic pickup truck in relatively good shape, 150 something thousand original miles. And by the time I got back, I had over 400 messages about that truck. I had people uh, four or five hours away uh, trying to talk me out of showing it to people that I had promised to show it to that said they would send me the money. Sight, the truck sight unseen, they would send me the money and then uh, come pick up the truck. So I didn't know those kind of trucks were in that type of a demand. I wish I had about 20 more of them to sell. But anyway, I sold that little truck. And so this new truck went up only costing us a couple thousand dollars, which I just thought was a God thing. So um, it, it needed a lot of, of things, little things mainly. Uh, the exterior is kind of beat up, scratched up, got a few dents. But the interior was in excellent shape. Uh, there were some panels on the door uh, that would about come off when you shut the doors, but I've got those fixed. Uh, the speakers in the doors didn't work. I've got those fixed. It didn't have a tailgate latch or bezel around that. We got that fixed. Will, uh, with some of the money he made working this past summer, bought a set of tires and we put those on it. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, we replaced the uh, the the lights all around it, and we, and we replaced those with LED lights, and that's that was a really neat upgrade there. Not gonna do not gonna do anything crazy with it. We're gonna share this truck. I'm gonna use it to pull the boat, go hunting, whatever, and we'll sometimes drive it. Uh, back and forth to, to school and different things that he needs to do when he needs to. And hopefully we'll be able to get the forerunner fixed and we can share it as well. We'll give you a walk around of, of that old uh, old fixer up pickup that we were able to buy. And uh, so we're, I'm pretty pumped about that. Thankful to have a, another vehicle to pull my boat with. So here is the walk around, the tour of the new, to us, <laughs> 2004 GMC Sierra 1500 SLE extended cab pickup truck. Come check her out. Here she is, or here he is. We named him Jimmy. GMC, they used to have a vehicle called a Jimmy. See, I mean, it's got some imperfections. But, uh, look, if I had a, my, a truck to me would be kind of like a boat. If I had a new boat, I'd be scared to death to run it because I would, I'm going to beat it up myself. Here's our old boat. This is a 2016 Tracker 175 TF. And uh, anyway, I'm I'm real tickled about this old truck. There's Will's new all-terrain tires he had put on it. it rides so much better now. And uh, 
What's happening, Will? You like your truck? I do like my truck. Our truck. And <laughs> yeah, we've got it cleaned up pretty good. We got it full of stuff already. Surprise, surprise, but let's see, these were loose and falling out as so we got that fixed. Those door speakers were out and we got those fixed, replaced, and uh, got it all cleaned up, even interior. Got some tears over there in the leather, but I'm gonna have them, I'm butt over there anyway, so. We like it. Hopefully, pray it'll last us a long time. Let me show you these. Let me show you these super bright lights. That right there is uh, is worth the expense and the time to replace all the lights because they are super bright super bright all right that's all it is to her that's jimmy well such as it is that's our video for this week folks now we are sitting out on the deck hey i'm enjoying one of my uh favorite gifts i got from Mrs. Claus. There's Mrs. Claus over there. <laughs> she hasn't got her hair or face done. Who's that? Let me let me show y'all some folks we got out here. Hang on. Hey. There's Miss Ellie. <laughs> hey, hey Ellie. Hey. hey. Who's that? Frosty. That's old Frosty. And look at here. No, no. That's kind of her debut. I think y'all saw her the other night on there, but uh, say hey to everybody, Nana. Hey, everybody. That uh, that lady right there, is, uh, she's been my mom all my life. <laughs> That's mom. Hey, here's the old solo stove Ken got me. I mean, Mrs. Claus got me. I love this thing. Maybe I'll get enough uh, subscribers one day to, to get sponsors or something. Maybe one of them would be solo stove. Go get you a solo stove. They are worth it. They don't really they don't really smoke. So we've sat out here. We've had a fire three nights in a row now, even though it's 70 degrees. We sat out here for like three or four hours. And you don't, you don't, smell, like you smoke. don't smell like smoke like sitting around a campfire. But anyway, that uh, this video is not sponsored by Solo Stove, but maybe they can see this and help me out. <laughs> we had... Uh, just an absolutely wonderful Christmas. Our oldest daughter was here. She lives in Mobile, so she spent two nights with us. So that was a special treat. Uh, wish I could have got her on on camera and introduced her to y'all. But anyway, as always, let me go to the Word real quick with you. Uh, this is out of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 15 to 16. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. You know, we talk about a lot about the, the world and the times in which we live and uh, how things are and uh, really how this world waxes more against Christians and the things that we believe. Uh, every day and uh, so a great way to combat that is to study the Word of God who we got here there's pop making a making an appearance but uh, study to show thyself approved and uh, you can't study the Bible too much I'll tell you one thing about this about this lady on the porch with me my mom she's always been a a wonderful example for me but one day many years from now uh, if things go as you kind of expect them to who knows she may live 
outlive everybody on the porch. We don't know uh, when our time is. But it's possible that one day I'll look back and, and have one of my fondest memories of my mom will be all the times that I have uh, just opened the door, walked in their house, and it's very common for her to have her old tattered book out and be studying the Bible. And uh, she studies it and she lives it every day. And that's, that's something I think we should all do. And I promise you, it'll help you. It'll help you in this world. It'll help you get through life. I've said it before on this channel. I'll say it again. I don't know how people get through life without having a relationship with the Lord. And I believe if you have a relationship with the Lord, you'll have a relationship with his word and want to study it and know more about it. And that will, I guarantee you, draw you closer to the Lord. So uh, hope you've read your Bible today, this week, this month, whatever. You can't read it too much. I'm preaching to myself here. I need to read it more. And uh, wherever you are, I hope and pray that even though we didn't catch any fish today, uh, that this video has been a blessing to you and uh, that you all had as wonderful a Christmas as we did. And uh, I want to go ahead and wish you a happy new year. Hope your 2022 is blessed and prosperous and uh, healthy and uh, many, many, many more years uh, after that. On behalf of everybody here at Hook, Line, the Singer tonight, my dad, there's Pop, there's Will sneaking in the background, we got Mom again, there's Ellie, there's Mama Ken, uh, and myself. May the good Lord bless you. Uh, remember, God loves you. So do I. So does Ken, Ellie, Nana, Will, and Papa. Till next time, bye-bye.